in question number two, first part figure is this. So I'm not drawing the figure. Okay, I'll draw the figure for you also. Otherwise, you will say it was there in the book. So whatever the figure is, you should draw in your notebook whenever you are doing a question. First thing. Okay. One more thing is given that this is a parallelogram. So all the properties of a parallelogram will be considered. Okay. So we will start like this. As A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. This is a symbol for parallelogram. Now, after that, you can use the properties. Yes. So angle B equals to angle D. Opposite angles are equal. In a parallelogram, I am not writing because parallelogram we have written on the top. Vibhu, is this thing clear? Yes. Angle B is what? 100 degree. Angle D is what? Y. So now I will write this thing not directly. And I will box my answer. As we know, these two lines are parallel. So these two angles are adjacent to each other. Okay. So angle A plus angle B equals to 180 degree. So we will write the property adjacent angles are 180 degree or supplementary okay is this thing clear yes angle a is z b is 100 equals to 180 z equals to 100 Oh, sorry, 180 minus 100. So Z equals to 80. Vibhu, if you write this line directly, sorry, you will get only 0.5 marks. Okay. Are you getting my point? Yes. yes but, sir, um, I also showed in the diagram, um, I made extra lines, for example, sir, in uh, so, so, the adjacent angle to Z, I showed that uh, the other side of the angle, uh, the complementary, uh, is 80 degrees. So, that is why Z is 80 degrees. Complementary is 80. What do you mean by complementary? Okay, you extended this line. You drew this one. Yes, sir. but on the opposite side, on angle B. So, even then, you have to show by linear pair property you have to still calculate and then by uh, corresponding angle property you still have to write all that thing whereas when i was looking at your answer you are not writing these steps are you getting my point yeah i'll open your notebook don't worry give me a minute now angle a equals to angle c again opposite angles are equal okay angle a is what z and z is what 80 and angle c is what x so hence the value is when uh, 80 degree so we got the all three answers can you see very clearly i can see this is my answer so that's why boxing is important so these are the vertex, these are the values of the angle. I have to write angle A equals to Z, not angle Z. Is this thing clear? So we don't write 30 yes. degree, angle 30 degree. We write 30 degree, isn't it? Yeah. Value does not come with the symbol of angle. 
Yeah. Okay. Hope your doubt is clear. Yes, right, yes, sir. So whenever we are writing the angle, we write angle. Whenever we are writing the value, we write just x, y, z. So in second part, labeling was not given. So if labeling is not given, you do it. You can take A, B, C, D, and this point as E. And make sure you draw the figure in your notebook. Again, with that boring method, as A, B, C, D is a parallelogram, we will use all the properties of parallelogram. So this is 50. Can I find this angle? Let's see, since I'm drawing this figure in my notebook, so this is my notebook, okay? Your notebook is in your hand. My notebook is this image. So this is X, this is Y, this is Z. Can I take it as M? Can I? Yes, no? Yes. So angle A equals to angle C opposite angles are equal. Okay. Angle A is what? 50 degree. C is what? M. So we got M. Now through M, I'll be able to get X just like we did in the previous question. So you can directly write also M plus X equals to 180 degree. Adjacent angles are supplementary, isn't it? M value we know 50 degree. So X will be 130. Is this thing clear? Now X is equals to Y. Yes. X is equals to Y. Again, property opposite angles are equal. X is what? 130 and Y is already there. So can anybody tell me how can I find Z? How can I find Z? Anyone? So Z, uh, so isn't it alternate angle to uh, Y? Very good. Since this line is parallel to this, so Y and Z are alternate interior angles, so they will be equal. There is another way. Okay. There is another way. This line is parallel to this, so x and z are corresponding angles so it is equal to x also there is another way can anybody tell me m and z are linear pair so they will be supplementary that way yes so that's how i did it so any of the all the ways which I shared, you can do it. I am doing it uh, parallel line. As AB is parallel to DE. Okay. AB is parallel to DE. BC is a transversal. Therefore, 
y equals to z which property alternate alternate interior oh right angles yes okay so what was y 130 so z will be equals to 130 degree okay so you can also use linear pair but you will get the same answer but you have to write it that way how will you write m plus z equals to 180 degree in the bracket you will write linear pair m value uh, is 50 plus z equals to 180 so z equals to 180 minus 50 Z equals to one thirty. Can you see working steps? Either to do this way or this way. Both the ways are correct. Quickly copy. So again, labeling is not there. Let me just take. Okay, not every time A B C D anything you can take L M N P. Okay, A. Why to always take O? A. Now, Aaron, you were talking about these two angles, isn't it? They are equal. So yes, all. So you should write x equals to ninety degree. Bracket vertically opposite angles. Okay. Yes, sir. I've written. I corrected that part. Okay. Now yeah. I have found ninety degree very easily. Now, if you focus here, this is a triangle. In a triangle, angle sum is one eighty degree. But you are focusing here, so how how the teacher will get to know? So we will write in triangle L A M angle L plus angle A. Plus angle M equals to one eighty degree. Angle sum property. Okay. Angle L is what Y. A is what now X and X is ninety. And angle M is what thirty. Okay. This line is important. In which triangle you are focusing on? And angle sum property. Make sure you write full form. Okay, so y equals to one eighty minus one hundred twenty. Y equals to sixty degree. Okay. Now another important thing that this was a parallelogram. Yes or no? If you read the question carefully, it is written that this is a parallelogram. So. Yes. Consider carefully the properties for finding z. If you observe here, this line is parallel to this. This is a transversal. Yes, so that means that y and z are alternate angles. Yes. So you have to. So that write, means that you have to write. Yes, sir. Lm is parallel to pn and ln. Is a transversal. Therefore, y equals to z. Alternate interior angles. In the next line, we will write z equals to sixty degree. I hope you understood the working part of it. Your All of your answers were correct, but working was missing. It was lacking. I want to say missing. Okay. Sir, copy. Yeah. So yes. also, I can I can I ask about question five? Question number five. This one. Uh, no, sir. Question number five. Like okay. we have to do five. 